Hello and welcome to this introduction to Mocha Pro 2019.5 on OFX for Autodesk Flame. I'll begin in the timeline with a panning shot that requires stabilisation. I'll add an OFX soft effect to the segment, select Mocha Pro from the list of installed plugins and double click to edit into the effect. I'll hit launch Mocha to open the Mocha UI in a floating window. I'll draw an X spline shape around a planar region and track it. Now I'll display the surface overlay which indicates the planar track that I've measured. I'll move the shape as the target area goes off screen and continue tracking. Note how the track for the plane being measured continues as an offset relative to the new shape position. This flexible relationship between shapes and tracking data in Mocha opens up some useful strategies for tracking problematic shots where targets are occluded or leave the frame. Now I'll switch to the stabilize module. Define the motion types to stabilize, the frame range for motion smoothing and border fill mode before saving my Mocha project and closing the Mocha UI. Now I can select the module to be rendered in flame, in this case stabilize. Enabling the render button processes the module result interactively in flame. In this shot the occluding candle spoils the track on the face so I'll draw a freehand shape around the candle. When placed above the face shape in the Mocha layers list, the candle shape acts as a holdout for the tracker on the face when I measure the track, improving its precision. It's worth noting that Mocha setups are host independent. In this example I'll export the Mocha project and reuse it by loading it into the integrated Mocha mask in the Sapphire Beauty effect. Similar asset sharing workflows are supported across the Boris FX product family on all host applications and all operating systems. I'll finish off by adding a little feathering to the shape in the flame menu and toggle the effect off and on to preview it. Mocha's magnetic spline tool dramatically speeds up roto work. Here I'll click the left mouse button to set a vertex and Mocha automatically detects shape edges as I move the cursor. When tracking a complex perspective move, drifting vertices may be selected and automatically corrected with the edge snap feature. When I save the project and exit Mocha I can output a map for use upstream as in this case with a colour correction node. In the next example I'll connect the insert and background clips to a Mocha Pro node in batch where I've tracked a shape for the screen insert. I'll select the insert clip for this layer and it follows the track. I've also animated and tracked a shape for the occluding hand which I'll set as a holdout mat for the composition in the insert menu. Once again, when I save the project and exit Mocha, I can process the insert result interactively in Flame. Mocha Pro enables tracking and shape data to be exported to a broad range of native formats for external hosts, including Flame. So I can choose to use the exported track data upstream, in this example where I comp the insert clip in action and apply the exported Mocha tracking data. I'll add an action node feed the background in, add a new input for my foreground, change my surface to bilinear and enter the bilinear tracker menu where I can import the setup that I saved out of Mocha. A similar workflow enables exporters Mocha shapes as G-masks. I'll select the hand shape and export it as a flame G-mask. I'll return to flame, load it into a G-mask node in batch and apply it as the matte input to blend the hand layer back into the action composition. Next I'll take a look at Mocha's remove module. I've animated a shape around the gentleman I want to remove from this scene and tracked a shape covering the background.
When I select the foreground shape and preview the result in the Remove module, we can see how Mocha uses picture information from the background to fill the foreground shape. Once again I'll exit back to Flame and render the result interactively with GPU acceleration. The Mocha Pro Camera Solve module offers a simple and effective method for solving a 3D camera by comparing the parallax difference between two or more planes. I've tracked two planes here, so I'll solve and export my camera data from Mocha and import it to an action node upstream, where I can view the composition through the solved camera and attach a 3D object to one of the axes generated by Mocha for the corners and centre of each plane that have been tracked. For this 360 VR project I'll enable Equa Rectangular Distortion in Mocha's Lens module and enable the immersive 360 degree view. Now I can track smoothly across stitch lines and perform all of the usual Mocha tasks, in this case removing the drone operator with the Remove tool. The wobbly horizon in this 360 degree drone shot will be somewhat nausea inducing when viewed on a headset. I've tracked a shape on the horizon in the 360 view, so now I can stabilise and level the horizon with Mocha's Reorient module, making the resulting shot a lot more comfortable to watch. In this brief overview I've just scratched the surface of Mocha's toolset. To find out more, check out the detailed Mocha Pro tutorials on borisfx.com and download a free trial to explore the synergies enabled by having the full Mocha toolset with an easy reach in flame. Thanks for watching.